Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm D, and I am back with another video. So first, just let me say welcome to all of my subscribers. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been hanging in there with me for the long haul, welcome back. Um, if you have not hit that subscription button, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscription button. We just like to have fun here, talk about handbags, handbags, and more handbags. And sometimes I'll throw in some other little things. But for the majority, handbags, okay? Uh, what's in my bags? Like Wednesday, Wednesdays are my collection videos. We just, uh, we, we concentrate on whatever topic I decide to come up with. Um, so it's, it's good over here. We have fun. And we love to communicate down in the uh, comments uh, on the video. We love talking and chatting it up with each other, okay? So I encourage you to, if you see anything on the channel and you have on the video and you have questions about it or you're thinking about getting a particular bag, please feel free to open up a conversation with me and I will get to you uh, as soon as I can. So, um... This video, I kind of took away from uh, from Mo. Mo knows beauty, and I will put her um, her video um, down in the description box, and I will actually tag her in this video. It's not a tag; um, it's just something that I saw she had. I thought it was interesting, and um, I wanted to bring it to y'all to let y'all see what I what was on my wish list last year. Because this is what it is, as you can tell by the title. What was on my, what did I acquire off of my wish list in 2023? Thank you, Mo. Because I that's that's a good one. That's a good one. So, um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, before I say that, hold on just a second. Before I say that, I um, went on a, uh, I was a guest on indubitably Sinise's um Dooney uh hour I think that's what she I can't remember what she called it but I was a guest there and we had so much fun <laughs> it was so exciting and this video is making me think she asked me about my Dooney wish list and I was kind of stumped a little bit because I really did not have a Dooney wish list so part so to say I know that I don't want to do any impulse buying. It's so hard to do that with Dooney though, not to do it because they have such great sales. And you always want something off of Dooney.com. I know I do, or ILD. Um, but anywho, I was stumped because it's not anything particular that I want, any bag particular, but I do want to add additional things from some of their um some of their different um leathers or whatever like the all weather leather i want some things from that um and just different things i don't know how i'm going to feel about more florentine i can go on and on and on with the florentine so that's why i was kind of stumped because i wasn't sure and now i'm kind of seeing why because when i pulled out everything that i had on my wish list um last year and some of it carried over into this year because I was I didn't get everything on my wish list. Um, so when I started to pull the bags, I noticed that a lot of my wish list bags are coach. A lot of my wish list bags are coach. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I have three Dooney bags, three Dooney bags that were on my wish list last year that I acquired. Okay. Now, I don't know how many is left. I didn't look at my list before I started this video, and I should have. Um, but I don't think I have anything on there yet for Dooney. Um, But we're going to start off with, um, most of them are coach. So I'm going to start off with one that I only have one brand of. That's how we're going to do that. So the first one up is going to be none other than and i thought i had all of this stuff untied y'all y'all know i like to talk so i don't like to waste time getting it out the bag because i like to talk um 
none other than the most complimented bag last year, <laughs> too. Um, my Brahmin, and it's in the uh, taffy. I think they call this taffy color. This was a wish list bag, not this color. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be transparent. Not this color, y'all. Um, this is saltwater taffy Melbourne uh, drawstring by Brahmin. Now I had the all pink, and I don't remember what color pink they call it with Brahmin, but I have had that all pink drawstring on my wish list since probably 2021 um it was the breast cancer awareness that I wanted it for and uh it just was out of my price range y'all know that Brahma can be ex I mean it could be expensive okay I know coach retail could be there too but um and some of the doing it just depends but it was just out of my price range for what I wanted to pay for it. Um, so, I never picked it up. So, whenever this came on sale, and I got this from, y'all, where did I get this from? Macy's? I think I got this from Macy's. I don't remember, but I think I got it from Macy's. I thought the people made a mistake. I saw this, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I've been wanting this pink one and I don't think they're ever going to go down in price on that and I never did see that one on, on sale ever and so I picked this bad boy up I know that it was a one I want to say 140 something like that which was <laughs> a great price for this bag um I've always wanted a, a Brahmin drawstring and I wanted the pink but I said this will do you know at the price I'm going to take it so this has always been on my wish list. Not this color, but it's close enough. Okay? So that's why this is in this video. Okay? So the next one, I'm going to do my Dooney, my Dooney uh, wish list bags. So this bag was on my wish list for Dooney. And it is the twist strap hobo bag um, in the color natural. So this was on my wish list because it took a long time for this bag to come back to ILD, y'all. On duty, it's, it was never on sale. It was high. And so um, it finally went to ILD um, at a reasonable price. Mo, uh, Mo Knows Beauty has this bag. She um, she had unboxed this bag when it came. I don't know if she got it off of doing it or ILD. I know Moe's just waiting for it to come back, period. Because for a long time this bag was not in this color, this natural was not available. But um, I just I saw when she got hers and um, I was like, you know, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to wait to see. So it finally went to ILD and it was at a great price. I don't remember what sale or what have you. Um, but I was able to finally pick up this bag. I had seen this bag for the first time on um, DJ King's channel. And when I saw it, it was a long time ago, I saw this bag and I was like, I, I want that bag. But like I said, at the time, it wasn't even on any other websites. So um, I finally picked this up in the color natural. So that was a wish list bag for 2023. It is the natural Florentine hobo. Um, twist strap bag okay i guess that's i think that's what they call it yeah it's the um the twist strap hobo yep in natural so hopefully i'll get to I, I will be wearing this uh sometime this year um so that is one of the doonies the next doony that was a wish list bag was another natural bag that would never ever go on sale. Now it's finally on sale on duty.com. This color never comes to ILD, um, but it's finally now on sale on uh, Dooney with a three in the front of it. I think it's still on sale with the leather. I'm not sure, but it has been on, on sale for a while for 388, I think. But I was able to pick it up for three something from Lord, now we're at Dillard's. So I saw it on Dillard's.com. Um, 
for for three something and I grabbed it and this was before it went on sale on Dooney.com so this is none other than my Hattie in natural now I know I said that I wouldn't be picking up another Hattie I was done but I said this on uh, Sinise's live that my girl Shonda got me wanting that Ivy so that's gonna be on my wish list for this year you can bet it okay hopefully they'll come back out with the Ivy color but a big boss had it made it onto my wish list and made it into my home wish list bag for 2023 that I was able to acquire the last Dooney wish list bag for 2023 is this beauty right here y'all this is definitely this was one of my top wish list bag this was on the top of my wish list okay and this is none other than the all weather leather satchel um and it is in the color green and it's the 3.0 this is a beauty and this collection is what i'll be concentrating on on dooney side for this year 2024 um because I love it. I absolutely love it. So I will be trying to acquire pieces. Um, hopefully I can catch some sales. Um, acquire pieces for this all weather leather collection. That is where I'm headed for 2024 as opposed to when it comes to Dooney. Okay. Um, but this is my last Dooney wish list item for 2023. Beautiful bag. Beautiful bag okay so now we're gonna move into coach which is where most of my wishlist bags this most of my wishlist bags was coach y'all last year my wishlist was full of coach and what I do y'all I do screenshots and put them in an album on my phone all my wishlist bags and as I get them I check them off I put a check in the front and over the bag and most of them were a coach. Now, I didn't, like I said, I didn't acquire everything on my list. So, I still have to complete my list this year. So, that is my goal. Um, so, one of the first bags that I got last year um, that was a wish list bag was my Ergo. I love this bag and I cannot wait um, to be done with my bags with tags. So, I can jump back into... Um, some of my bags that I truly loved carrying, y'all. This bag, honey, at the time, now, I think later on after I had purchased this bag, I started seeing Coach.com pop up with some ergos here and there uh, on the site. But before that, you could not find this uh, but on the aftermarket. I actually found a lady from Canada in a Facebook group that was selling this bag and i jumped on it y'all for a very good price so this is coach retail and it is the argo 30. it's the bigger one and i thought that i had a tag in here but i guess not 33 or 30 i forgot what they how they do this, but it's the bigger one. It's not the smaller one, it's the bigger one. And I might need to stuff her again. But yeah, so this came all the way from Canada, y'all. This was on my wish list for a long time. And I finally found one in a good condition, okay? So that is my Argo. The next, what's what I wanna start with? I'm gonna do uh, my my rogue. So this was definitely a wish list bag. Um, not this particular one, but any rogue. At first, I thought I wanted the bigger one, but then I was like, when this went to Coach Retail, I mean, this went to the Reserve on on Coach Outlet. I was like, you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm going to get this bag and this I didn't get this bag the first go round when everybody was grabbing it I think they had a, a retail drop and I wasn't able to get it they they brought it back to the site 
one of those late nights or whatever and I was able to catch it. Um, my sister Michelle determined to be has this bag as well. And so I picked it up and I'm going to say this about it. I like it. I like the rogue, but I don't love the rogue. Okay? But I do like it. I do like it, and I will keep it in my collection. It is a forever. I'm not selling it. I'm not giving it away. I'm going to keep it uh, because I am going to wear it again. Um, so it's just one of those bags that I don't love. Like, I'm not, I'm so anxious to get back in. No, I have bags like that that I'm very anxious to get back in, and you will see some of those. Um, but this is not one, but I do like it. Um, and so this bag made my wish list for 2023 and I was able to acquire it. So once I got this one, I was like, okay, I like it. And I'm glad this is not the one that I wanted first. Okay. I want it. That's the one I got first, but I wanted this one first. <laughs> so, um, this is the Tom Wasserman Rogue, um, 25. And so, I ended up getting this. This was a anniversary gift for my husband. This is what I chose for my anniversary gift because I wanted this bag. This bag is a statement piece. This bag is something that you keep in your collection forever. I absolutely love it. And Mono's Beauty is where I where I saw it before on the website. But you know how it is, you see something on the website and you're like, mm, I like that, but I don't know. And so here go Mo again. Mo came with this bag. I was like, I'm getting it. I got I got to find that bag. So it was no longer on the website. So I had to get some contacts. I forgot who gave me all those numbers. I had, well, I called, no, I called a coach. And then the lady gave me more numbers to call. This bag, I think, came somewhere from Washington or Maryland, somewhere up there. <laughs> I don't remember, but I got this bag. Um, I called all over to the coach stores and finally got this bag. And I'm trying to think of my my CA's name she had a real unique name I'm trying to think of it as I'm sitting up here and I cannot think of her name um but yeah she they had a problem with their uh pay by link so it took a little while because I had to wait for the pay by link to go through and I to get right and everything but I finally got this bag y'all and I love it I carried it for my anniversary and I may have carried it another time too um but i absolutely love this bag so it had to be it's one of those bags that had to be a part of my collection i just had to have it y'all now how many times i'm going to carry it i don't know but it's going to be in my collection it's not going anywhere i love it <laughs> so yeah this was another one of my wish list bags that i was able to obtain in 2023 um and that's the only two robes that i have in my collection so the next pieces i'm gonna start with this one so this little cutie pie right here this is the rebel I think I got this around Mother's Day. This is on my wish list, has been on my wish list for a long, long time. Like a long, long time. <laughs> and I finally was able to acquire it last year. Um, it has been on my our wish list for a long time. I got this around Mother's Day. They had their annual sale, their 25% off sale. And I was able to grab her then. I have worn this bag. Now this is a this is a weekend bag for me. Um and so I've worn her a good bit of times because it's a weekend bag. So um it doesn't fall in rotation with my weekly bag. So I could carry her two or three weekends, four weekends, you know, if that's what I want to do. 
Um, and so she's been worn um, a lot. And I love her. I love her. Now, she, I love her. I love this. This is not going anywhere. So, I have love for it. Matter of fact, let me just get this out the way. Every tan rust bag that I have, I absolutely love it. And it will never leave my collection. If I have a tan rust bag, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Okay? It won't be sold. It won't be given. Nothing. Um, because that is a collection I'm still looking to grow. And I still have some things on my wish list um, for that particular print. Um for coach and I know a lot of people don't care for signature print for coach but I do I love it um you know they look more towards the leather but and that's fine that's their choice but I love me some tan rust baby um so the next one is the day tote so I was introduced by the day tote by my my sister friends um Michelle um uh Michelle determined to be um has it dazzle has it um layla has it just one sp she has it um let me see who else has this bag a group a group of them have this day to matter of fact layla just uh showed hers um but you guys have seen this this you know as soon as i got it I jumped into it. That's another thing. With my tan rust bags, I don't wait. Like, I don't wait. If I buy something in Coach Signature Tan Rust, I'm jumping right in it. Because y'all know I already got my accessories ready for it, okay? I already got my accessories ready. <laughs> so, I'm jumping right in it. So, this was when um, they were picking the um, the day totes up in the different colors. I put this on my wish list in the tan rust, and I was just waiting for the right price, and I got it. Okay, I just recently unboxed this and wore it and did up what's in my bag not too long ago. But this was another one of the bags that were on my wish list for 2023. All right. Almost to the end, y'all. And the next one, I'm going to save my best one for last. <laughs> now, this here was on my wish list, and I got it for Christmas. It was my Christmas bag for my honey this year, along with my Calyx. And it is my Brooke Carry All. And it is the Brooke Carry All. Um... The 28. I knew it was a number behind it, but I. And so that was on my wish list last year, and it was my Christmas bag for my honey. And I absolutely adore it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> so my tan rust collection really grew um last year, and I have a couple more, not many, um, that I do want to add to it. Um, but that was my Christmas bag this year. And last but certainly not least. Uh oh, y'all, that go to rain. So I hope it ain't got no ice in it. Sound like it's kind of icy. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Let my husband get home uh, okay from work because he's at work. Last but not least, y'all. This is my favorite coach bag. This is my favorite bag. Period. Poo. Like them kids say. My favorite bag. And it was on my wish list last year. And when I got it, I was doing all kind of dances and everything. Lord have mercy. Lord, if something ever happened to this bag, it's going to be a problem. My son. Y'all, I love this bag. This is the bag that if if I could just have one bag and no other bags, 
This is the bag. Okay. This is the bag. I'm so anxious. I can't wait to get back in my bag. I might wear my bag coming up sometime next month or something for my birthday month. I might wear my bag. Y'all. It was on my wish list for 2023. And baby. My sister Michelle determined to be can tell you. Who child. It was a time trying to get me one of these. I was like, I want that bag. I got to have it. I got to have it. And I got it. And it wasn't a bad price either. Um, this this is actually a very sought after bag. And I wish there is another color that I saw, like the white. And I might put that on my wish list. I might see about acquiring it. I've seen a couple of um, Macari, Poshmark, I think. Um, but they, you know, they they the they price got. I mean, the price is up there. So um, we shall see. But this is my favorite bag. This is my favorite bag of all time. And it's it was it made my wish list last year. It was on my wish list last year, and I was able to um purchase it so that is it y'all this this video is ooh, real long so that's it y'all so that is my wish list of bags that i was able to acquire um for last year 2023 um as far as my 2024 wish list i do have some things left on my wish list from 2023 that I didn't acquire. I'm going to go ahead and bring it over into 2024. Um, and I have a few things, not many, that I am going to add to my list. Okay? So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to go in and I'm going to I'm going to take off. Well, I'm going to just start a new list and put those, bring them over to 2024, the ones I didn't acquire in 2023 and add some things on there if that makes sense guys so thanks so much for watching if you guys have any questions about any of the bags that you've seen in the video please put them down below and let's chop it up and you know if you want to go ahead and do a wish list bag that's a wish list um video for tw that you have for 2023 um you can do that i mean you don't have to tag me it's not a tag but do it because I want to see. I want to see what was y'all wish list bags for last year. Uh, which ones y'all acquired. Um, because, you know, like I say, we, I, I probably could have a wish list as long as my body. But I didn't get them all. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah. I would love to see the bags that you've acquired off of your wish list from last year. Um, that would be awesome. Uh, so, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, and, this, like I said, put down in the comments if you guys have any of these bags. How do you like them? How do you feel about them? Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Mo, for this idea. I appreciate you. And I will be putting Mo's um, video that she made down in my description box. All right? Thanks so much, guys. Y'all have an awesome, awesome day. Please be careful if you're in a wintery, wondery, winter land with all the ice and snow. Please be careful. Bye-bye.